Oh no, no, not now. I'm so close. Fancy seeing you here. How have you been? Oh, cut that out. You know I don't want to see your ugly mug just as much as you don't want to see mine. I'm just here to talk business. Fine. What is it you want? Oh, you know damn well what I want. I'm looking for your little errand boy. I haven't the slightest idea what you mean. Uh, don't play dumb with me, broad. I'm talking about Henry. Aaron boy, I thought you meant one of the others that I so clearly have at my disposal. Listen here, Gilly. I didn't come all the way down here just to get sassed by a sloppy, unfinished date like yourself. <gasps> I came here to get answers. Now, I know you've been sending Henry around this place to do your bidding. My current lack of cutouts in the area is proof of that. <laughs> Shut up! All I want to know now is where you're keeping him. Keeping him? I'm not keeping him anywhere. Oh, sure. I'm just supposed to believe that the local goody tosus around here wouldn't keep someone that important from me. Suggesting. I'm merely suggesting that maybe living down here for so many years finally got the best of you. I don't know what you're talking about. I I've been managing just fine. The torture chambers and remains of other cartoons say otherwise. Well, that was done out of necessity. You of all people should know how difficult it is keeping yourself together around here. Sometimes sacrifices must be made to keep oneself maintained. Ugh, I'm not with the sacrifice talk. You're starting to sound like Sammy. <sighs> but I do find it interesting how someone as pure-hearted as yourself will go to such cruel measures just to keep the looks up. Doesn't that seem a bit... Oh, I don't know. Silkish. Nonsense! I did what had to be done. Is that include killing Henry, too? How do you know if he's dead? He could still be out there. He's very surprisingly resilient, after all. What about Boris, huh? What purpose do you have with him in this whole scheme of yours? Because it looks to me like you're just going to do the same to him as you did to the others. Uh, well, well, you're no better. How many lives down here have you taken? More than I have, I'm sure. <laughs> Fair point, <laughs> But you seem to be forgetting that I'm a demon. So me killing a few folks here and there shouldn't be a surprise. You, on the other hand, are supposed to be my opposite. You're an angel. You're supposed to be the good one. And yet, here you are, taking the lies of the innocent for your own personal gain. You know, if I didn't know any better, I'd say you're not any different from me. Don't! Touch me! <laughs> I knew it! This godforsaken studio broke you! You're just like the rest of us! <laughs> no, 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 I'm an angel! Yes, Henry Allen! I'm almost perfect! I'm almost free! I won't let you take this from me, you freaks! You don't want to go back, do you? I can't!
as far as the elevator would go. He was unconscious when I took Boris, but he could still be alive. First you arm the guy, then you make him break my stuff. And now you've sent him as far away from me as possible. <laughs> 